Here we go again. So everybody should be done with their vocabulary list. Um, which group had the even number? We did. We did. Okay. Let's look at the list. Um, treachery. What does treachery mean? James? It's an act of harming someone who trusts you. Okay. So you may hear treachery. The, in the video that I'm going to show you, uh, it's, it's going to show uh, the results of the attack on Pearl Harbor, um, so, some video from the U.S. side and also from the Japanese side. Uh, they actually did videotape uh, some of the bombing uh, that took place for them to use uh, back to Japan. Uh, but then I'm also, at the tail end of the video, is uh, FDR's speech to Congress, uh, and treachery is used in that speech. Uh, Aaron. How about propaganda? Uh, communication to influence attitudes of a population. So what does that mean? Um, like a newspaper or something, or a, like a big, like, um, or something to persuade you to do something else. Okay. So, so, Propaganda was used on both sides. The U.S. The, the U.S. used propaganda, and so did Japan. There's a reason why Japan videoed their bombing of Pearl Harbor because they wanted to go back to Japan and show this to their people that look, we were able to hit the mighty United States. Okay, and look at all the damage that we did uh, as a as a way to to increase uh, popularity in the war and and make them feel like they're invincible and get everybody on board as far as helping that war effort. Likewise. The U.S. did the same thing. They flipped the video around, and you'll see it where they show all the damage that, that was done, and they use it as a tool to try and spur a war effort to make sure that this doesn't happen anywhere else and that we pay Japan back for their treachery. Okay, so uh, let's see. Tactics. Harrelson. Um, strategy or methods. Okay, so what does that really mean from a military standpoint? It's like the way you're going to do something, so like attack the uh, Okay, like so what we'll talk about is not just the why Pearl Harbor happened, the attack on Pearl Harbor, but then we're going to talk about some of the tactics, meaning there were some changes that took place between World War One and World War II, um, and some of those relate to tactics, some of those relate to uh, the equipment that they used, and because they had different equipment, they could change the tactics that they used to wage war uh, on both sides. Uh, what do you remember about World War One in regards to like tactics? If we're going to talk about tactics, what was what was uh, World War One famous for? Trench, you know, trench warfare, right? Trench warfare. Okay, that's very different in World War Two. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Mechaniz mechanization. Oh, come on. Change, changing from using animals or performing work by hand to using machinery. Okay. So in, in uh, regards to warfare, what do, you, what do you think that means? Using motorized vehicles instead of horses. Okay. So in World War One. There were still a lot of things that came out in World War I, airplanes, right, uh, tanks, the first tanks. Um, there were still battleships and, and navies, uh, but they were the use of those pieces of equipment and how they were implemented in war in World War II was, uh, had a much bigger impact on uh, how war was waged, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Okay. So the next portion of this, I need to get on the line. I'm going to show you a video.
before we get into the video, let's talk a little bit about why it happened. Uh, why do you think Japan attacked us at Pearl Harbor? Close to spot. Close to spot to <coughs> the Japan. Okay. Any other thoughts? That's the hardest they can reach. As far as fuel. Not necessarily. There, there were tankers uh, that could haul fuel and keep their their navy moving. Uh, but if you look, if you look at the Pacific Ocean, you can see, and I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I should turn off the light. We all know where Japan and, and the U.S. are in relation to the Pacific Ocean, right? And that little tiny dot, hopefully, that you can see right in the middle, that's Hawaii, okay? And at the, when war was really going, World War II was really going, much of the East, or the Western Pacific was controlled by Japan, all right? And the, the gateway to the U.S., North America, and South America is that one tiny little dot right there in the middle of the U.S., or I mean in the Pacific Ocean. And remember, the, the Hawaiian Islands were actually not a state. They didn't become a state in the United States until 1959. So really, it was just an outpost for the US. Uh, we had a, a large Navy fleet there. Uh, and it helped protect our interests in the other side of the ocean. Uh, why would they hit us before we declared war? For strength? Skip? Uh, hey, Ron, you want to help him out? Hey, yeah. why, why, would, why would they attack us before uh, we really entered the war? Our guard is down. You already they wanted us to stay out. OK, our guard was down. Plain and simple. They understood that the US had the capability of, of uh, They had the capability of putting together a, a huge war effort, meaning industrialization that we had in the U.S. Uh, they, they knew that there was a lot of capabilities that the U.S. had that Japan did not. Japan was a small island, and while they were very uh, uh, committed to this war and, and what they wanted to achieve, the resources that they had compared to the U.S. were, were a night and day difference. And they understood that uh, attacking the U.S. first was a good opportunity for them to not only control the Pacific Ocean, but to catch us with our guard down, plain and simple. Uh, if you walked up to a, a, a guy that's a lot bigger than you and he's ready for a punch, do you think you're going to win that fight? Or if you sucker punch him when he doesn't expect it coming, okay, you've got a little bit better chance of winning. doesn't mean you're going to win, but you've got a little bit better chance. And I think that was that was a big reason why they attacked Pearl Harbor the way that they did. Okay, so the next step, I'll show you this quick video. It's only about 10 minutes. This is actually footage from uh, both the U.S. side and from Japan. Thank <laughs> you. 